afternoon everyone, my name is Miss Navins and I'm from the Smithtown Library. Today I'm going to be showing you two simple gift ideas that you can make for dad for Father's Day. Our first gift is a homemade rub for chicken, pork, anything to make uh, food delicious for the summer uh, while you're barbecuing. And our next gift is going to be a dot design dad mug, perfect for coffee, tea in the morning, I think dad will really enjoy that. So first we're going to start with our DIY spice rub. So you're going to need um, an empty glass jar. It could be an old sauce jar if you have a mason jar. If you are going to use plastic, just make sure it has a really tight lid so it stays fresh. So for this, you are going to need paprika, red pepper, dark chili powder. You're gonna need like a steak seasoning and garlic powder. You'll also need some sugar and some salt. You will also need a tablespoon measure because each ingredient, you're gonna need three tablespoons to make our spice rub. I already pre-measured everything, so really we're just gonna be pouring everything in. This is our garlic, and you can pour it in any way. Everything's gonna get um, stirred up and all mixed together. So you should have a bunch of these seasonings at home. If you're missing one, you can always substitute. It's really by taste, so if you know Dad likes things a little bit spicy. You can add more paprika than um, like the steak seasoning, or you can add more red pepper um, than garlic. That's totally your call. You know Dad. So we're just gonna pour in our sugar and our salt last. It looks pretty cool. It looks like sand art. And then just grab a spoon, and you're really gonna try to work it in, and at the end, we're gonna give it a good shake, too. And let dad know this is perfect for when he's prepping like chicken legs or like a nice pork roast. If he's going to put anything in the smoker or on the barbecue, this is going to be a really nice summer rub um, to put on the meat before he cooks it. All right. And this is a really nice sized jar. Um, it's a lot of ingredients. If you want to make something bigger, you can always double the ingredients. If you want to just make something a little bit smaller just for dad to try to see if he likes it, you can definitely just do like one tablespoon um, of each ingredient just to start us off. All right, and we're gonna just give it a little mix. And then you can always use, if you have Sharpies or paint pins at home, you can decorate the jar, you can use ribbon. I actually had some leftover little gift tags and I have a chalk marker so I just wrote for my dad and I'm going to just place it right on here. Just so dad knows it's from me. Alright and that's your DIY spice rub. Our next gift is for all those dads who really rely on their coffee or their tea in the morning. You're just going to need a empty mug it could be white any color if you're gonna do a darker mug try and stick with white markers silver markers but if you have a white mug or I had like a brownish mug you could definitely stick with more fluorescent colors so you're gonna need your mug and you're gonna need either uh, sharpie markers or paint pen markers okay so you have your mug and you also are going to need some stickers if you don't have stickers you can use painters tape if you don't want to use stickers at all and you're super artsy and you're really great at drawing, you could totally hand draw dad something using Sharpies or paint pens. But for me, I'm definitely going to use some stickers. So I found some stickers that I had and I'm going to put the letters D-A-D. If you call your dad something else, if you want to do for your grandfather and you call him Pop, um, really it's totally up to you. But I'm going to do D-A-D. Try and make it as even as possible. And this also works on like a glass mug if you also have one of those. If you don't want to do a coffee cup. Okay, so I have my letters. And then you can decide what color palette you want to use for dad. In my last one, I started with a color, then I changed to like a teal and ended with a purple. For this one, I'm going to use green, blue, and red, and I'm going to do like one letter uh, per color. So you're just going to take your marker, and this is going to act as like a stencil, so you're really going to just go in and do dots all around the letters, inside the letters, as close to the sticker as possible. So my 
empty. And you can go as far out. You can spread out the dots. You can make them close together. And the good thing is if you mess up a little bit, like over here, if your dots touch, it's still going to look so awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to a different color. I'm gonna do the A with red. I'm just gonna put some dots. You can kind of mix them together. Okay, so we finished doing all our dots. I did let it dry for a few minutes. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going to peel off the stickers. And then if you'd like, you can always go over and like if you want to make the lines a little thicker, you can always draw the lines around. But if you see, this is our finished product. And now in order for the paint to um, be dishwasher safe or if you're going to wash the mug, I would definitely turn on your oven to 350 degrees. And for 15 minutes, bake the mug in the oven just so the paint will cure and it will bake into the ceramics so it will uh, make it easier for washing. Okay, so those are our two simple DIY gifts for dad that you can make from probably everything that you have at home. We also made some little gift tags that you can use for your gifts for dad. So those are available right on our YouTube channel and it'll be available on the teen section of the website after this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. We hope to see you again in our building soon. Until then, please visit the library's website at www.smithlib.org for more programs and resources. Thank you.